if you play American style and you play with advanced players, maybe you're just a beginner, one thing you can do to improve your decision making is Charleston sprints. Over time, this will help you make quicker decisions and therefore you'll probably feel a little more comfortable playing with advanced players because you're not slowing down the game. Also, if you're an advanced player and you play in tournaments, this is a good exercise for you too. If you have a set at home, give it a try. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. Click the bell when you do so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss anything. Let's do some sprints. All my tiles are out and mixed. I have a smartphone here. I'm going to use the stopwatch feature. And we're going to do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. My goal is to make decisions in under two minutes as an average. If you are an intermediate player, try for under three minutes. And if you're a beginner, try for under four minutes. And then as you get comfortable in those thresholds, push yourself to improve by lowering your time. Always make sure though that you are as close to four discards as possible after the Charleston. That would be an indicator of a really good Charleston and good decision making along the way. I'm going to say we're the dealer, so I'm going to take 14 tiles and now I'm going to create a mock Charleston. This is not what it would be like in a real game. It is to simulate incoming passes just for practice. So let's see what we can do for this first sprint. Okay, trouble. We got trouble. Oh, I need to click start. User error. Okay, here we go. Start. What? Reset. Start. There we go. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm not going to fuss with, oh, I'm so used to having my tiles a certain way, right side up, upside down, but that wastes time. Okay. I just can't stand it. I have to do it. I have to do it. Okay. Now I'm seeing a lot of threes. We could play three, six, nine. We have a gap of no sixes, but maybe we'll pick it up during the Charleston. We could also pay, play something consecutive with fours. That by process of elimination gives us discards. Exchange any jokers you might get. There's a six. Three, six, nine, I think is what we, we should play. Let's pass those three. And we got a three. Let's keep the dragon and give up the fours because maybe we could play like numbers with threes. We got a four. We got a six, two. Nice. Let's break that up. And I'm seeing a potential pair hand here. I'm going to risk passing the dragon because we could maybe play a pair hand. Flower. Shoot. Now we have to make a choice. Three, six, nine, three, six, nine, three, nine. If we play the three, six, nine pair hand, we don't need this nine. Let's break these up then. That way we don't have to pass a flower. There's a six. And we have two tiles to pass. We're on last right. We can pass blind. Let's pass these two. Or we could play three, six, nine with flowers and give up on the pair hand. Let's keep the threes and do a full pass. Exchange that. Exchange that. South. So now we have tiles we can pass for optional cross. We could still do something with three, six, three, six, three, six. 
three, six, six, nine. I think I would rather do a full pass for optional cross. I don't think there's anything in here and look how far I'm going over. Oh my goodness. Oh, we got nines. Look at that. We got all those nines back. We could still play a pair hand. I went over by almost a whole minute. That's terrible. We're going to have to shave that off. Okay, we're in between 369 category and 369 pair hand. We got almost all the tiles back. I think if I had to pick a hand, which I don't like to do if I have discards, I would maybe play with the flowers here. 3699 would be one option. That would leave six discards. Or we could play, let's see, 369 would leave even more discards, that one suit option. We could play 36369, 36, 369. Three, that would leave seven discards. This is why I like to gather for the category, not a specific hand. Look at all the options we have. You don't have to pick a hand until you run out of discards. I think I would start probably by discarding the five followed by the nine because we could still play the three, six, nine pair hand, or we could play three, six, nine in one suit with flowers and see how that goes. That was challenging. I don't know why. I think one reason why I might have gotten over is the exchanging the jokers. I'm going to pick out the jokers next time. Shave off a little bit of time. Because you can't pass jokers in the Charleston. Let's give this a try and see if I can shave off a little time. Oh, let's, let's exchange jokers now so that we don't waste time. Okay, mix them up. Try not to remember what's in there. This is just for practice. Okay. So let's see how this sprint goes. I'm thinking 369 again. There is a hand with dragons. Let's throw these three. Flower, six. Let's give up the dragons. Oh, six. We don't need that four. We're playing three, six, nine. Let's pass these three. Three. Flower. We have two tiles to pass. Now we make a choice. Three, six, six, nine. Joker bait. Let's pass these three. Nine. Okay, now we're back to three, six, nine, and one suit with joker bait. Let's give up the nine. Three. Let's break up the six. One suit. Risky. Discards. Optional cross. Lap. Okay, we shaved off a little bit of time there. So we're going to leverage these flowers. Three, six, nine, single suit, third one down, four discards. That was a really good Charleston. So Kong the three, Kong the six, we need a nine dot to be set. That's, that's a good result. This is the kind of result that you want to see, four discards. We could even hold the six, nine, and play three, six, six, nine, get rid of these first, 
and use these as joker bait if it comes up, whichever comes first. This though I think is ideal because we're one away from being set. Okay, we're gonna do one more sprint. If you would do something different for this one, write in the comments section, sprint two and what you would have done differently. Oh man, look at all these wins. There's just no question. We're going to play wins. Now we could play news with eights. Let's discard these three right here. One of each suit. Let's break that up. Even, odd, mixed suits. Oh, mess that up. There's an eight. We could play a quint. All we need is a dragon. Let's force it. Dragons. Oh man, look at that. Ones. Now we have to choose. Let's, let's give up on the West because we could still switch back to wins and use a joker for the West. There's a dragon and joker bait. Let's pass the east. We have tiles to pass. Let's break it up, one of each suit. Right there. Oh, there's another eight. And we have like numbers, not good. I would rather give up the eight. Another eight. That's funny. Okay, let's pass these three. Lap. We got the west back, but we did give up an east. So I think what I would do is I would stick with a quint. North, eight, reds. So we could use the one joker to get a quint out of either the north or the eight. I would hold the wins for as long as possible and switch back to news. These could be joker bait maybe. So I would say that we probably have six discards, but we're playing a quint. That's not bad. Let's see how things went with time. I don't know if I made it or not this time. Sprint one. Two minutes and 50 seconds. Sprint two, one minute 42. So that's 18 seconds we can shave off. Sprint three, six seconds under, one minute 54. I was way over. My average was terrible. I need to practice more. I need to do more sprints. Even advanced players sometimes struggle with decision making. This is a really great exercise. If you have a set at home, get it out and give it a try. Let me know if it helps your game. Sometimes I hear people say that at a game, they get so sleepy when people take a long time to make decisions and then they forget what they're doing. If you practice Charleston sprints, you'll play a faster game and your opponents and friends, hopefully, will thank you for it. And also, if you play in tournaments, it kind of takes the pressure off. If you have a set at home, give this a try and let me know how it goes for you. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, click the bell. And that way you won't miss out on any opportunities to maybe learn a new strategy or maybe learn a new exercise that can improve your game. Between now and the next Charleston Sprints for American Style, may all your picks be keepers.